All right, what's up, guys? As you can see, we are here at Rob's. It is 10.37. We got... We got Jane with us tonight. And the investigation piece is this thing My name is right Gretchen. here. If anybody on Jane's Facebook page or yours or Nubs, back would have been about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. This was the doll that I was actually messing around the face with that drew, actually drove the, the blood out of this finger right here. Her name is Gretchen. Uh, the child that had this doll passed away with pneumonia. And in her passing, this doll she was holding of the day of her passing. It was put in this case. In 1966, and it was left in the attic. Well, look, did you catch that? It is, yes. Did you catch that on film? Should have. Camera was looking right at it. What happened? The movement. I didn't see it. I was looking somewhere else. Okay. But uh, anyway, uh, I was called to retrieve. The doll in this case, and supposedly I had my fingers right around her mouth, nose area, and as, as you can see, it's nothing sharp. And when I draw back the finger, in fact, Jane was here that night, and uh, they draw the blood, whatever it was, it more or less felt like a bite to me. But we got her here tonight to find out exactly what's going. Finding out if it's the child spirit connected with her or just what was just exactly what's going on. The lady called me and wanted the doll out of the attic when it had nothing else to do with it. It's been handed like been handed down pretty much from at least one generation that I know of. But uh but anyway, we're gonna uh do an investigation, see what we can come up with tonight. We may possibly get some answers. We got all the equipment set up, ready to go. We're going to try to start off with the room pod here. Got the millimeter sitting on top of the case, but we're going to start off with the room pod and see what we can get. Okay. Gretchen, if you are willing to communicate with us tonight, please touch this device and make it light up that is right in front of you. If you're here with us, make that device light up. That's in front of you. Make it light up for us. If you're some sort of demonic spirit, let us know in some sort of sign. Okay. See if you can speak to us through this device. I got in my hand now. All right, Gretchen, if you're willing to speak to us, I'm going to have this sitting on top of your cage. Speak to us starting now. Say anything you'd like to say. <clears throat> if you're demonic, give us some sort of sign. If you're demonic, give us the infamous three knocks somewhere in this room. Did you actually bite me that night? If you're a child spirit that is just trying to be playful with us, that is not a very fun way and cool way to be playful. You should be... Okay, the girl that had this doll, Sarah. Oh, Sarah? 
Mm. Okay, I, I just thought of her name. Sarah, is this you? Are you connected to Gretchen? Sarah, if this is you, speak your words in the device on top of your cage. Say anything you'd like to say. We're stopping the recording now. How old was Sarah? Seven years old. Seven. Get some of that advice and almost feel like a yes come across. You gotta listen real closely. Very silent. Okay, Gretchen. Seems like the rim pod. Are you more of a child spirit? Is there more than one spirit attached to you? Is there a child spirit and a demonic spirit? can say something start oh boy Ooh. I think he just knocked it over and I think he was cool. We're getting all kinds of crap. Holy God. Mm. Okay, thank you. Did you actually bite me that night? soul that possesses this doll is this Sarah. Don't be shy. Reach out and touch your rim pod. Is this another entity or spirit that we're dealing with? Is this Sarah possessed this doll? Is she angry for dying at such a, a very young age? We would really like for you to communicate with us. Grandpa goes off right here, guys. It's me. That was not me. 
Is this Sarah that's speaking to us? Sarah, if this is you, can you touch the K2 meter? Make that go, make that light up, make it go to orange or yellow. Or you can keep touching the rim pod, whatever's to your liking. There's also a demonic spirit attached to you. Give us a sign that we can confirm. Give us some kind of indication that you are still here with us. Have you decided to join us again? Gretchen, if you're with us again and willing to communicate one more time through this device, Rob's going to be holding it this time. Communicate to him starting now. Gretchen, if you are with us, speak. We would really like to hear from you. Did I actually see a rebite from you that night? Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, Gretchen. Still haven't answered the main question. Does Sarah possess this doll? And are you demonic or are you some sort of child? Or do you have both attached to you? Is this Sarah with us? <clears throat> Are you demonic? Did 
The important question I want to ask, was that a bite that I received from you? Actually, as I can recall that night, I was messing with your hair or curls or whatever. And when I pulled my finger back, I sort of uh, more or less pulled back a bloody nerve. Mm -hmm. Did I receive a bite? All right, Gretchen. Sit. All right, we're in this session. All right, that's going to do it for this session. Gretchen, thanks for talking to us. If you did. Yeah. Maybe. Ooh, I'm okay. That's nice. Yes. Okay. So, now guys, that we might have a lead to where she is something demonic, I'm going to change my course of action a little bit. And we're going to take this over to the thousand rods. Don't flash it in my face, please. <laughs> All right, Gretchen. These, this device I have in my hand, they are called Dazzle Rods. You can answer the questions we ask with a yes or no answer. Crossing the rods answers yes. Opening up the, the rods when, or no. And... We will ask a certain direction, point my right rod into whatever direction that you are right now. Point in the direction you're at, Gretchen. Oh, crap. Are you sitting beside Jane? If you're sitting beside Jane, cross the rods. Well, that was quick. That was really. I ain't never seen you do that before. I, I think I think I'm going wild. All right, reset, 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 please. Okay. If there is a demonic spirit attached to you, open the rods. That was a quick. 
open. All right, reset. If there is a child spirit attached to you, cross the rods. That means there is both a demonic and child spirit. Gretchen or Sarah, if you're the child, Sarah, are you the child connected to this doll? Okay. Yep. That was a double answer. All right, Gretchen, I'm assuming you're the demonic spirit attached. God, these things are going wild tonight. All right, reset. I ain't never seen them. I ain't never seen them dials and rods have them kind of content to them. Okay, Gretchen, if you're the one that has been making communication and bit Rob on a finger a couple weeks ago, point my rod downward. Okay. I said rods, but one would do. Reset. Sarah, are you seven years old? That's one of them, which means maybe. Okay. Gretchen, back to the demonic spirit. If you're more powerful than a six, cross the rods. If you're a three and below, cross the rods. Okay. How about a four? Okay. Gretchen, how did you come attached to this doll? Did somebody... Contact you through a Ouija board. What in the world? Actually, the information I gathered. I ain't never seen Sarah one. named the dog Gretchen. I ain't never seen one go. I ain't never seen the rise go to the same direction. Odd. Okay. Reset. Sarah, did you make Gretchen attach itself to the doll? Okay. Reset. Do you regret the way you made Gretchen come into your doll? Okay. It's, hang on a sec. Is this... Is this actually Sarah that possesses this doll named Gretchen? Is she angry that she passed away with pneumonia? Okay, reset. All right, ask that question again. Sarah, if you possess this doll, tell us through the thousand rods. <clears throat> All right. This is solely to Sarah. Sarah, which direction are you standing in right now? Behind me. Over. Let's do. I'll ask one more question. Are you angry at the age of seven? that you passed away with pneumonia. Interesting. Okay, reset. Jane, you got anything? Are you happy here? That's a good thing. Good enough question for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you remember being in the attic since 66? Okay, reset. 
Did you bite Rob's finger that night to let Jane know that her angels was here with her while she was here visiting Rob? That's a great question. Really? That's a great freaking question. Okay, reset. Do you know who was here with her that night? If it was her dad, open up the rods. Um, hold it. Okay. okay. If it was any... Did you know if Mike was here that night? Was Mike here with Jane? Oh. Okay, reset. He said he wasn't early on the first day, but... I'm out of questions. See? That was my problem with the house. So if you just start asking stupid questions. That's crazy. Gretchen, are you safe with the door open? Let's go again. All right, go in. Is it safe with you in in the cabinet with the door open? Do you mean anybody, any bodily harm? Oh, crap. No, she, he says, do you feel safe? And it's like, yes, she yeah. does. If you want to harm anybody, <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> just out of curiosity, please point the rod to that so person. Oh, you got to. Do you feel, in other words, did you feel violated that night? Me opening the cabinet, messing with you in the box. Do you want to be left alone? Okay. Is there any other presence in this room with us right now between Gretchen, besides Gretchen and Sarah? Oh, dear Lord, here we go. No, I, I feel like it's another demonic spirit okay i got a question all right just out of curiosity with you being demonic have you and high became friends and became demonic entities to put to contact us tonight are y'all both here Do you wish to be left alone? If you want to be left alone, hit the rim pod for us. What was that? That sounded like a growling half. Are you toying with us tonight? I feel like your power is a whole lot greater than what we're picking up on. Is this Sarah speaking to us from beyond the grave through the doll? Oh. oh. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay. So this is Sarah. I have to ask this question one more time. Is it safe you being in the cabinet in the house?
Okay, again, I feel like you're toying with us. I'm sitting down. If you would like, come out and touch me. Sir, if you possess in this doll, do you remember your passing back in 1965? How long did this illness strike you? A week? Speak to us, Sarah or Gretchen. Sir, did you name this doll, Gretchen? That's the info I got. This was your doll. <coughs> your name was Sarah, and you named the doll Gretchen. You passed away mm -hmm. with this doll in your arms in 1965 with pneumonia. Is it something that you, that you did not want to be reminded of? I'm getting the, uh, the vibes that you're not speaking for anybody's entertainment just whenever you get ready to. You call the shots. When you get ready to speak, you speak. When you do not wish to say anything, so be it. Sir, did you name this doll Gretchen? That's the info I got. This was your doll. Your name was Sarah, and you named the doll Gretchen. You passed away with this doll in your arms in 1965. What did Sound like a freaking knock. That was weird. I'm getting the uh the vibes that you're not speaking for anybody's entertainment. Just went up and you get ready to. You call the shots. When you get ready to speak, you speak. When you do not wish to say anything, so be it. new device you can also light this up as well if you'd like <clears throat> go ahead and touch that for us make that little ball light up that's in front of you beside the rim pod Does this ball remind you of something that maybe you had as a child? Mm. 
There's another one on the other side too. You can hit that one as well. Seeing a ball roll across the floor, does that remind you of any childhood toy that you had growing up? Do you wish to harm anybody in this household? Besides myself? Did it disturb you moving you from the attic here? All right, speed tool is starting now. Gretchen or Sarah, this is the spirit box, also known as the necrophonic, starting now. <laughs> Is this Gretchen? Is Gretchen the demonic entity attached to this doll? Sarah. It said Sarah. That said Sarah. I thought I seen that peg in just a hair down there. The meter? Yeah, I thought. I may be mistaken. Did you just touch the K2 meter? We got a confirmation on the dowling rods earlier that Hi might be joining forces with Gretchen. No. No, okay. Is high here with us tonight? Not. Okay. Yeah. Is this the only spirit we're speaking to right now, Sarah? I wish I could. Sarah, did you die a quick death, or was this, or was this at, uh, prolonging? Did you say ask? Was this an agonizing death? Patience? said patience. Do we need to be patient asking questions? Did it look like she just moved? I, I didn't pay it no mind. It looked like she just moved. Did you just move inside the case?
the longer Sarah stays in this doll, is it coming more human form? No. That was a couple of no's. Yes. Oh, yes. We got it. We got it. Yes. Yeah. Did you just move a while ago? Did you move when we first opened the door? Yes. This low key voice we just heard a while ago is just Sarah trying to communicate. Do you still want to communicate with us? If you're through communicating with us tonight, can we come back at a later date and ask questions? We're gonna go ahead and end this session. We're gonna keep. We'll we'll bring it back out later. But thank you so far for for communicating. All right, guys. We just turned the lights back on, and all of a sudden the music box goes wild. Nobody's in front of the doll. Nothing. As soon as meter, you got a spike, a slight spike. As soon as we cut the main light back on here in the living room, the music box went absolutely wild. I thought I'd seen that spike in a little bit earlier. music box has not even stopped. I'm going to stop it, man. Alright, guys. We're going to grab a quick break, refresh ourselves real quick, and we're going to come back and ask a little bit more questions. Like movement. 